So there's a look at the uh, mounting studs for the EGR valve and also the EGR tube. Both have been removed. So today I'm taking a look at this EGR valve for a 99 Nissan Maxima. I'm going to open it up and uh, check it out. It takes a 4 millimeter Allen wrench here. And um, before I open it up, this is the connector that operates the uh, stepper motor here. It's got six uh, connections. And it's got two ports for coolant. Uh, this is just a coolant passage that um, keeps the uh, the valve at a operating temperature. So I'm going to open it up here. It's a this is a four millimeter Allen key here. And so this is the actual exhaust valve part. You can see it's got a, a, a clip here that clips into this uh, actuator rod there. And so this is the actual the valve part. Uh, the exhaust comes in here and when this uh, valve is pushed down it allows the exhaust to come out on this port here. So this piece is cast iron and uh, feels like it operates smoothly. It's been I've cleaned it up and I'm also wanted to take a look at this part here. There's a this is the the shaft that actuates it with a, a stepper motor that moves this up and down. And here you can see the the coolant passage going through. I've left this hose on just. Because I didn't need to remove it. And now I want to separate the uh, the motor from that coolant. And the reason I want to do that is um, I want to evaluate how smoothly this uh, stepper motor moves to make sure it's not worn out because uh, it actuates a lot in the course of its operating the car. And I think it could get worn in such a way that it would get jammed up and, and not be allowed, not be able to move. So I just want to check that out. Here's the uh, coolant part. There's a bearing in there. And uh, here's an O-ring that keeps out the uh, elements. So this is the actual shaft here. And you can see the, the, the ring of uh, coils there. And this is the shaft. And down inside there's a wafer washer that provides a load keeping this suspended. Here's another uh, bearing. Feels like it freely rotates. Now I'm uh, spinning the, the armature here and just checking the um, this keyway to see if it's uh, actuating smoothly. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull it on out and see. It seems okay to me. It's very smooth and clean.
And so I can I can see it uh, would exert some force with some leverage here because it's got a, like an actual uh, like a, a screw drive there. It feels very smooth all the way across its range and the bearing is easy to turn I can, you can see I can push on it and it actually spins in I'm happy with that I, th I think it's okay Everything looks okay. I've already measured the resistance of the these coils in an earlier video and they they read with consistency about 20 22.5 ohms each coil. The bearing is snug and I don't see any indication of the armature wearing on the coils. I'm going to assemble it back. This bearing is freely spinning too. So the, let's see this has to be turned to there. And what I'm trying to do now, I want to assemble the shaft on here and I want to make sure I get it lined up correctly. And just checking to make sure the valve is closed. So now I can go ahead and reassemble the EGR valve. And I'm going to install it back in the car. So what I'm doing is uh, first get all the all the bolts threaded in to make sure everything's lined up. Then I'll go through and uh, I'm not going to snug them one at a time. I'm going to snug them evenly.